Hi everybody, it's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video today. Today's video is called How to Stop a Puppy from Crying at Night. I'm going to give you several resources in today's video. We're going to talk in today's video specifically about how to get your puppy to stop crying at night, but I'm also going to give you information on how to get your puppy to stop crying in general, how to get them to stop crying in their crate, and how to get them to stop crying when you leave. And I'm also going to give you a great recommendation for some professional dog training help if you can't get this solved on your own. So I hope by the end of today's video, I can give you some help with this issue. If you have not seen me before, my name is Deborah. I own a website called peoplelovinganimals.com and I do videos several times a month all about the care and health and training of dogs and cats. So if you have a pet that you would like to continue to get help with, I would love to have you on board as a subscriber. Also, so please go ahead and share the channel with your friends and family members who have a pet. They might appreciate the help as well. And if today's video is helpful, please give it a like. It really does help YouTubers when you do that. So again, thanks so much for watching. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. We are on my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, and I'm going to give you a link to this article called How to Stop a Puppy from Crying. I'm going to give you a link to that in the description box, and I'm also going to give you a link to the very uh, thorough video within that article. I'll give you the link right to the video that covers all the things that I mentioned uh, earlier in the video. But for today's video, let's talk specifically about how to stop a puppy from crying at night. Uh, for the first few nights, you should probably put your puppy's crate in your bedroom with you. Um, expecting a puppy, especially a very young puppy, to sleep in a room by themselves when they're brand new at, in your house is really too much to expect. So if you don't want to always, you know, have the dog sleeping in the room for the rest of your life, that's fine. But for the first few nights, it really would help the puppy and you to get a night's sleep without the puppy crying. If you move their crate or their little puppy bed into your room, like I say, just for the first few nights uh, if you don't want them in there permanently. They'll feel less anxious if they're in the room with you and once they're more settled, you can move their crate or their bed to a different area of the house if you would like to. Um, when you get your, uh, try, you know, you're trying to get your puppy to settle down at night, always make sure First of all, that they are warm and comfortable. Put a blanket and a soft toy in their crate. I'm going to give you a link in the description box for some puppy safe soft toys that you can get on Amazon to give them in their crate at night. Also, remember to be aware of the season and the temperature. Okay, make sure that your puppy is warm enough in the winter time and not too hot in the summertime. And just try to think of it like um, how you would feel. Like if you're laying in bed and you're restless and you can't sleep, what might the reasons be. You might be too cold, you might be too hot, okay? Also, and this is true whenever a puppy is crying, whether it's at night or in their crate or wherever, your first thing should always be to make sure their basic needs have been uh, have been met. Uh, make sure that they've been fed, make sure they've been given water, make sure they've gone outside to go pee, and also remember the saying, a tired dog is a good dog. Okay, so if you have a puppy that is always fussing at night and won't settle down, it could very well be that they're just not getting enough exercise and play and activity during the day. Um, puppies, especially young puppies, will, they take a lot of naps during the day, but they do have, also have a lot of energy to burn up. So, you know, you might consider how much activity has has the puppy had today, okay? So you might want to have a little playtime before bed, uh, possibly, because again, a tired dog is a good dog. Now, also, um, keep in mind that any reasons why your puppy is crying, it's basically the same reasons why a baby would cry. And, you know, when you think about a baby crying, what's the first thing you think of? Well, geez, is there anything wrong? Is there something causing the puppy pain? Uh, and again, are they thirsty? Are they hungry? Do they have to go to the bathroom? You know, these are things that you would think of for a baby, and a puppy is a baby, you know, so you kind of have to consider those things. All right. So let's continue on and then I'll, 
um, try to recap it for you maybe at the end. You also might try giving your puppy a piece of your clothing uh, to have in their crate or their bed at night. Your scent will probably be reassuring and comforting to them. Another idea that you might have heard of before is to take a ticking clock and you can just go down to your dollar store and just for a dollar or two you can get a little plastic ticking clock that you can wrap either in a towel or um, even in your piece of clothing and put it in the crate with the puppy because that ticking sound will kind of mimic the heartbeat of another dog and so it kind of gives them a familiar feeling of being with their mom and being with their litter mates. And again, especially if you have a puppy who is very young, you know, they have just been separated from their mother. They've just been separated from um, their litter mates and just having that sound um, will probably help to bring them some comfort. Um, you also might provide, well, you should provide a safe uh, puppy chew toy for a puppy at night. Even if they're falling asleep pretty quickly, always make sure they have a chew toy either in their crate or nearby because if they wake up in the night they might can be content just to chew on that toy for a little bit till they fall back to sleep it might save you being woken up in the middle of the night again i'm going to give you a link in the description box for some puppy safe um chew toys that are safe to um, give your puppy that they can have in their crate overnight uh, also playing soft music at a low volume might help uh, your puppy to stay calm as well. Um, my dad used to make fun of me. A uh, hundred years ago, I had a little um, miniature doxy named Maggie. Um, I've had two miniature doxies. You, if you've been here before, you've heard me talk about Taz. Several years prior to Taz, I had another miniature dachshund named Maggie. And I always felt bad for her that she was home alone when we were at work all day. And so I would leave music on for the dog and my dad would always make fun of me. He's like, I'll turn the radio on for the dog. But you know, I just feel like, you know, whether it's at night or if your dog is home alone, especially if they tend to be um, a more anxious dog, I think what it does is it drowns out every little sound. You know what I mean? Like, for example, my little dog, Maggie, she's home alone all day. Well, if she doesn't hear every home honk, if she doesn't hear every car go by, if she doesn't hear every car door slam or every voice of somebody going by on their bike, you see what I mean? I think having the music on just kind of helps to drown out so they don't hear every little sound. And I just think that that's a good way to help your puppy to stay asleep. Now, uh, before we continue on, I just want to recap a little bit. If your puppy is crying at night, the first thing to do is consider whether, whether their basic needs have been met. Have they had something to drink? Have they had something to eat? Have they been outside to go pee-pee? And is there anything physically wrong with them? You know, something causing them pain or discomfort. Also, consider the temperature. Are they warm enough? Are they too hot? Okay, so just like basic needs, make sure that they're met. And then go ahead and follow the, step, the steps that we've just talked about for some additional things that can help you. Now, realize that the problem may be the crate if your puppy will not sleep at night. If your puppy is afraid of the crate or if you have not received, uh, if the puppy has not received proper crate training, if you haven't done proper crate training with the puppy, then they can become dangerously upset in their crate. All right. Now, I talk about this a lot more or in the article, which I'm giving you the link to in the description box. And I also did a very thorough video on this entire topic that talks about that a lot more. Now, let me just give you a few things before you go. First of all, in the description box, I'm going to give you a link to this article that talks about how to stop your puppy from crying in general, how to stop your puppy from crying at night. We've just gone over that section. How to stop your puppy from crying in the crate and how to stop your puppy from uh, crying when you leave or when they're left alone. I'm going to give you this article. I'm also going to give you a link to that thorough video that talks about each one of those. It talks about all of those topics, okay? I am also going to give you some links for Doggy Dan. If you've if you've been here before, you've heard me talk about Doggy Dan. He is a professional dog trainer and a behavioral specialist. He owns the dog training website called the Online Dog Trainer. This is one of his ads here. I am going to give you links for a uh, 
blog post by Doggy Dan called Puppy Training Tips, How to Set Your New Puppy Up for Success. And that's a really great one if you've like just brought this puppy home. And especially if you've never had a puppy be before and you're like, what do I do? Okay, that's a really great blog post by Doggy Dan. Take a look at it. And it really helps you to just take the steps to start out right with your puppy to get them set up for success. I'm going to give you a link to that. I'll give you a link to the chew toys like we talked about. I'm also going to give you a link to um, Doggy Dan's crate training. It's called Crate Training a New Puppy Tips and Tools for Setting Up Your Pup. That is free as well. I'm going to give you a link to that. And when you go in there and you do that little training by Doggy Dan, he'll also uh, give you a checklist of 10 things to do when you're crate training a puppy. So if you think the crate might be a problem and if you, you're you not sure if you've done um you know, proper crate training, or if you didn't know you were supposed to do uh, proper crate training, then I'm giving you the link for that. So go ahead and take advantage of that help. Also within this article and in, in that longer video that I told you about, we go through step-by-step -step exercises you can do to teach your puppy to be okay when they're left alone, okay, whether they're in a room by themselves or whether they're alone at night or whether they're alone when you leave. And one of the things that I can recommend for you there is Doggy Dan's uh, new, he has a new training program called the Dog Calming Code. So if you're, if you have a puppy who's like, you know, really, you just can't stop the crying, you can't settle the dog down, I really would recommend Dog Doggy Dan's program, the, um, uh, the Dog Calming Code. I'm going to give you a link to that. I'm also going to give you a link to Doggy Dan's um, puppy program called the Perfect Puppy Program. So I'm going to give you a link to that in the description box and you're going to, you're going to be able to uh, go and take that training as well if you would like to. Okay, so I hope that this has been helpful for you. I'm also going to go ahead and invite you to sign up for my email list in the description box. I'll give you a link. I have a dog lovers email list. And if you're subscribed to that, about once a week or so, you'll get an email from peoplelovinganimals.com. And it'll be either an article or a blog post or a video all about dogs. And I think that you'll find it valuable and helpful, especially if you've got a new puppy that you're trying to train. And also, if you subscribe um, to get to the um, dog lovers email list, you'll get uh, a copy of Doggy Dan's little, uh, do it's basic dog training. I think it's called My Everyday Dog Training Tools. And it's just a little ebook from Doggy Dan that covers just some basic dog training techniques. So I will give that to you as a free gift if you go ahead and subscribe to that email list and you can unsubscribe from that at any time. Also, I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you find this kind of um, content helpful. And if you have a new puppy, I do really recommend that you check out Doggy Dance Training. I'm giving you all those links. You know, why struggle with it? <laughs> You know, why struggle with it? He covers everything. How to teach your puppy how to walk on the leash, what to do about a puppy crying, what to do about a puppy biting. Uh, he's got fantastic potty training and housebreaking stuff. It's really, really good. So I hope that you'll check that out and get some help from Doggy Dan. He's my number one recommendation on my website. He has been for six and a half years because his training is really good. And it's step-by-step -step video training where you get to watch him actually train dogs and puppies. So it's very cool. So I hope that this has helped you to stop your puppy from crying at night. One more thing before we go, um, and I do talk about this more in the uh, on the video that I'm going to give you a link to if your puppy is crying excessively um, you know follow your instincts on that you know puppies cry okay they cry but if you're feeling like geez you know this seems kind of excessive if the dog is really getting upset if they're not just whining but if they're howling if they're screaming if they're screeching if they're yelping if they're drooling if they're panting Okay, these sorts of things, if they're urinating, pooping, like suddenly, if your dog seems too upset, please call the vet. Okay, don't take chances with your dog. And like I say, don't get freaked out about it. Puppies cry all the time, just like you can't have, uh, you can't get into a panic every time a baby cries. You can't get into a panic every time a puppy cries either, but use good common sense. And if you are wondering, hmm, this seems a little much, you're probably right. Okay, so again, thanks so much for watching. I hope I've helped you today. My name is Deborah, and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.